Hi, I'm Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, I'm jumping on today to do a little video and um, I don't think it'd be too long. Yesterday or the day before yesterday's video was a bit long, wasn't it? Because I did the jackets, the bras and a couple of monsoon dresses. And I think it went on a bit too long, really, if I'm honest. But uh, anyway, I got lots of feedback about the leopard leopard print um, sequin jacket. I'm going to have to keep it. And uh, they can bury me in it if necessary, just to justify my purchase. Um, no, I'm sure it'll... I've actually already had a delivery of some black trousers, like wide leg trousers, to see, to try it on and kind of make sure that it looks okay. So um, in today's video, I am planning to just try it on. I've got a few last bits from the John Lewis sale, and I've got to choose between two, two, that wasn't the peace sign, that was two um, coach crossbody bags that I have bought. I mean, I might not keep either of them. I need to kind of try them on, have a look, and think about how practical they are. Um, but they are really nice. It was funny, actually, because I was there with Katie, my eldest daughter who you've met on here before and um we both really love coach handbags they're really good quality for the price point they're kind of not high-end designer but they are really really nicely made and in the sales they have some really really good reductions and um in the shop they often have better reductions than they do online because i think the manager gets to choose if there's just one left of something and I had these two handbags and I was like, oh, these are really good. These are really good. And I was trying them on and tried to decide. And I just knew that Katie wanted one of these bags. It was so funny. You know, you just kind of get that. Um, you know, I've had it with with um, other shoppers before where you think they want this and I'm not letting go of it until I've decided whether I'm keeping it or not. And she was like, oh, yeah, they are really nice. Yeah, they're really nice. And I said, you want this one, don't you? She said, well, if you don't want it, I will have it. But obviously, if you want it. And I was like, yeah, I know, because I turned it first. But anyway, to cut a long story short, she did have that one. And um, that was really good. That was uh, less than a, I think it was about a quarter of the original selling price. So that was a brilliant bargain. But anyway, so I'll show you those. So I am going to try on, I think it's just three or maybe four dresses from John Lewis. Not sure any of them are any good. I haven't even taken them out of the packet. So I will pop those on and we will see. Oh, the other thing that's quite funny is um, I mentioned about Rob and uh, the fact that he'll be, well, he's hoping to retire as soon as possible. And I'm hoping to retire not as soon as possible. And um, yeah, I think uh, most ladies have found it quite a difficult transition. And uh, I had to laugh yesterday because he was at home. I didn't have to laugh. I don't know why I said I had to laugh. I didn't, didn't have to laugh. Um, I was busy kind of editing the film. And, you know, I call that working because it is work. And uh, I was busy doing all of that stuff. And he started, like, hovering around me. And I, I said, what's wrong? And he said, it was about five to six. It wasn't late. And he said... Um, oh, um, do you want me to do anything for dinner? And I said, what? Oh, he doesn't cook, Rob. He doesn't cook anything. He can't cook. He's never cooked. It's not his fault he can't cook. He just never has. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, uh, oh, only, you know, it's it's uh, it's getting on and you haven't started dinner. And I said, I'm working. I'm nearly finished, and when I finished, dinner will take me about 10 minutes because I already had a casserole made and I had some of that microwave rice and I just had to cook some vegetables and then dinner would be ready. So dinner would be ready in about 20 minutes from the minute I stopped working to get it on the table. I said, Rob, honestly, sometimes you're like a child. And he said, you told me to communicate. I'll get on with the clothes. Just before I change, I just wanted, I'm going to pop these on, um, a really nice pair of real suede leather um, espadrilles that I got from the next clearance as well. So I just thought I'd show you those close up. 
because I can't really get my legs that high to show you in the camera. So that's the um, espadrilles I'm going to try on. It, they won't necessarily work with everything I'm trying on, but, you know, just use your imagination. Now, this, this first outfit is a little bit different for me, um, but it's a brand called um, Somerset by Alice Temperley that um, they sell in John Lewis. And it's a really lovely, pretty brand, if you know what I mean. And this um, dress, there's a dress under here, and I paid um, 35 20 for the dress, and it should have been, it, it was originally £110. And then the jacket or the blouse, I paid 25 60 and that should have been £78. So this is a £190 outfit that I managed to get for under 60 quid. Doesn't mean that, you know, I should keep it, but I just thought I'd try it. So I put the blouse over the dress and I'll explain why. Because the dress is buttoned through and on all the reviews, it gets slated for the buttons just popping open. So I have put a little safety pin there to, to secure it. So I'll show it you with the, the blouse over and then I'll show it you show it to you with the um just the dress so you know it, it's it's quite kind of pretty i think is how you would describe it it's got this um shared peplum here um with it's a very very lightweight cotton i think it's cotton let me just check i'm not telling you lies no actually it's viscose and tent cell and it's hand wash so it's a lovely ivory and kind of tan polka dot loads of fabric in the skirt very swishy very lovely i had a summer wedding a garden party uh, Buckingham Palace hasn't been in touch yet. Um, I think this would look smashing. In fact, I think it goes really nicely with these espadrilles too. The tan on the espadrille is exactly right to the tan in the dress. So I'm going to stop the camera while I take the blouse off because for all I know, everything's going to pop open and uh, I'll show you the dress. Now, obviously, I've got a black bra on with it, and I wouldn't be wearing a, bra a black bra, but it does just completely open. I mean, it opens, so I've, I've sort of fastened it up. And if I was keeping it, you don't actually need to be able to undo these because it's got this shared panel in the back. But it's a really pretty, pretty dress, isn't it? With the, the smaller spot here, the shaping, you know, you can tell it's um an expensive item it's a little bit see-through so i would have to wear nude nude underwear with it but um i'm in two minds really but i do think it's lovely with a tan on holiday you know it'd be a very lovely cool dress to wear with just a wrap or something and I have got a few little Bolero cardigans. I've got a little ivory cardigan, actually, I could put with it if I needed to. So I think it's a lovely shape. And the way the, the spots are smaller here. So anyway, I just thought I would show you that. And uh, I haven't tried it on before, so I was interested to see what it's like. And um, I, I say, I know I wouldn't wear a black bra with it, but, you know, that's what I'm wearing. So that's what you're seeing. And, um, but yeah, I think it's uh, rather nice. I think, you know, obviously you've got the larger spot here going to the smaller spot and uh, it's not bad at all. I mean, really, when you think about it, what did I say this dress was? 20, 26 pounds or something. I mean, that's less than the um, Marks and Spencer beach dress, wasn't it? Anyway, that's uh, the first outfit.
I don't even know what the others are like, so I will go and get those out of the packets and try those on. This is an animal print um, from a company called Row and Zo, and it's from John Lewis as well. And this is reduced from £99 to £45. And currently, it's in stock from size 8 to 20. Um, it's got a zip here, but I didn't need to use that. This is an 18. This is 100% viscose, and I rather like it. Can you see it's cut on the bias? I've just noticed the label's coming off the bottom of these sandals, so I've just um it's a really nice fit here. It's low but not too low. And um yeah, I think it's really nice. It's got a three-quarter length sleeve and it's just got this patch of um sharing on the inside here to kind of bring it in, but it's a they're perfect length, you know very very good length and um i think it's lovely my middle daughter's got a big birthday this year and she's having a party and i think this might be the dress for that party it's so comfortable and um i think i, I really like it so um yeah what's to be said i'll just check the um yeah machine washable i could wear this with i've got some really nice black peep toe shoes or even just the ones i've got on i mean i don't even know where the, the uh, location of this party is so i'm not sure you know if it's going to be outside space or inside space um this blooming necklace keeps flipping around it's annoying so Yeah, a little bit different. I'm happy with that one too. It's a good buy. And it's a lovely quality. It feels really nicely made. So that's number two. This um, bird dress is Live Unlimited. And this was reduced from 129 to £64. So it's a really good reduction. But um, I'm not, let me just check the fabric. It's this goes in polyester and it's got um, a separate black slip that goes underneath it. And it's it's this cut out fabric. I don't like it. And I'll show you why. Um, I thought, you know, it's worth a try. You just don't know, do you? But it's got these big cape sleeves and it's just a straight, straight dress. It's got this slit at the side. You know, it may have been a really expensive dress, but it feels like a really cheap dress. It feels like kind of nylon. Anyway, I just don't like it. It doesn't feel nice. It, um, it doesn't highlight anything good. I do feel, I don't know why, I just keep thinking of Bat Out of Hell. It's weird, isn't it, how your brain goes, but I suppose that's why. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back. It's available in all the sizes. I can't think why. What does it say, the reviews? Gorgeous dress. There you are. This dress is gorgeous on, really comfortable and stylish. The sleeves are fabulous, and I wore it to a black tie dinner. Oh, somebody's wearing it on a cruise soon. It feels so elegant. So there you are. I don't think it does anything for me at all. So um, it's definitely going back. So obviously this is a summer dress and it's made by Alvare, which is the same company that made that dress. You know, that was like the candy stripes that a lot of people commented that the stripes didn't match with the bottom part of the, the dress. And they were quite right, they didn't. Um, and uh, so I've been looking for kind of a wide belt. I probably will keep the dress and just see if I can get a nice kind of canvas belt to wear around there. So this dress, this is an interesting thing. I bought these in the John Lewis sale and it was £48. And now in the John Lewis sale, it's £60. And that, that um, the first dress that I tried on, the cream and tan spot one, that's dearer now as well in the sale than it was when I bought it. So I don't know what that's about. They've obviously 
they've sort of still got them in the reduced, but they're not as reduced as they were. So this one was 99 and I paid 48 and now it's 60. But it's pure cotton. When I looked at it, I wasn't sure about this because I felt like my boobs were on a bit of a kind of a shelf. But actually, I think it looks quite nice. It's really cool. Lovely sleeves, really nicely made pockets. And it's got this nice open back. I love, I love blue. I love blue and white. Obviously, it needs ironing. But, um, I mean, I think it's a really lovely dress. Nothing to dislike about it, really. I think it's quite flattering the way it is there. I, it, it doesn't look, does it look too much like that? I don't think so. I mean, the girl in the picture is obviously tiny, so that's not anything to go by. But it's got this lovely scoop neck. You know, it's not low. It's easy to wear a bra with. I, I think it's a very, very nice summer dress. Could wear this anywhere in the summer, really, if we get any nice weather. So that's that's the dress. Obviously, it's washable because it's cotton. And then I've got these two bags. So this is the first bag. And uh, sorry, I keep getting a slip off. I don't know why, excuse me. Um, it's lovely pebble leather and um, obviously it's quite small. It's just a little crossbody bag and it has um, this little purse that comes with it which has got the pockets and the um, centre part and then that just has got a little key lock there and it's got the tan handle. I do love it. They were the same price, so the price has got really nothing to do with it. And I just thought this would be perfect for kind of sightseeing and day shopping where you only need really, you know, you only need your cards and your phone and maybe a couple of tissues or something. So I thought that was rather lovely. I haven't tried it on since I, I tried it in the shop, so actually I'm kind of seeing it again for the first time, really. Couldn't find it earlier on because I'd obviously shoved it out of the way so that Rob didn't see it. Um, I don't know why I do that because he just doesn't say anything. Unless I start moaning about money and then he kind of points at my shopping. Otherwise, he just lets me get on with it. So it's got a good length bag. I do like them to be no shorter than that, just on my hip there. So that's number one. I think I've made my choice actually seeing them again but um and this is number two so this has got the um coach signature kind of canvas and this one's got um kind of three pockets and the center two zip pockets in the center pocket and that's got a place for four different cards there as well so a little bit more capacity than this one. I think that one's smarter. Got a nice handle too, and this has got also a wrist wrist strap too that you could just wear it. I probably would never use it like that, but um, it's there. And that's a good length as well. But what I will say, I mean, basically, I was in the shop and they had this reduced and it was the only one. And I was like, oh, do I like it better than the other one? Is it more practical? Yada, yada, yada. And um, so I bought it to ju cause just to compare at home, really. But I do have a very nice uh, Gucci handbag that the children bought me for my birthday a couple of years ago, very beautifully. And... Um, I don't know when I would use that over the Gucci one, which is um, blue and cream. So I think this one is winning for me because it's different. And um, I think the fact that it's kind of almost got the purse built into it there. As I say, I think they were, this one was 97 and that one was 87. So... Yeah, so that, that's the bags. So I'll just wind up. Um, 
what I think I'll do is pop on that cream and tan dress again and just try it with a cardigan because I'm not sure that if it was hot enough to wear that dress, whether I would want to wear the blouse over the top. But as it was, um, you know, in the sale, you've got to be quick. You can't kind of dilly-dally around wondering if it's any good or anything before you buy it. Just buy it and take it back. I mean, I always get them delivered. In this country, we can just get them delivered to our nearest Waitrose and take them back there if necessary. But um, anyway, that's today's little choices for me. Looks like it's going to pour down with rain any second. It's been a lovely day. Um, Mum is coming over on Sunday. I haven't yet told her what my hopeful plan is. I'm still researching how to do the live, and I will um, hopefully get that. I'm trying to look at times and everything, apart from the actual ability to do a live, which um, I'm still investigating. I need to look at the best time. So I think it'll probably be in the evening English time so that it works for people in America and hopefully Australia too. But, you know, most of my ladies are in the UK. So, um, yeah, anything else? Not right now. So I'll leave you with that one and I'll see you really soon. Thank you so much for watching, honestly. And if you haven't already, can you please, please subscribe? I'm not begging. I sound like I'm begging. But um, it just helps with everything, really, the growth of the channel, I suppose. So thank you again. Bye.